Aloha, all my fellow fashionable patrons. <laughs> if I could come up with a better name for my two or three fans, then that would probably be better. Um, anyways, so today, you know, I had another thing planned, and it turns out that I need super glue for that, and I don't know where it went. So we're just gonna do a makeup tutorial today. <laughs> Actually, what's exciting is that I got a whole bunch of new makeup brushes from Morphe. It's what everybody uses on YouTube and, you know, I wanted to see what all the fuss was about and actually, they're really good. I got the kit for eyes. So I have all of these little brushes and they're, still, they're all individually wrapped because, you know, that's good. Wrapping things in plastic is really good for the environment. But yeah, no, let's like see how we go with all of this. Very excited. So, you know, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. We're just gonna play, see what happens, and uh, hope for the best. All right, let's get into it. All right, so magically, I have already put on, covered my eyebrows. So now I'm just gonna dust off the axles with this brush that is actually meant for putting on foundation. <laughs> but it's nice, it feels good. Do I have a mirror? Ah, I do. So you can see what goes on behind the scenes. So now we gotta do foundation. We're gonna go into this good old stick here and we're gonna cover up the boy. JK, I'm gonna go in with this light one onto all of my highlight areas. Okay, where's that beauty blender? Oh yeah, I'm using a new one, and I noticed that it doesn't really pick up the product as well as a dirty one, but you know. The other one started to smell like mold, and I don't think that's good for my skin. I bought this pair of sunglasses in Australia, whenever I was living there, and I loved them. They were like so perfect, I've been wanting some round framed glasses for a while. Then I lost them at Sydney Mardi Gras, because <laughs> I was a disaster area. You can ask my ex-boyfriend, yeah, <laughs> he uh, can vouch for that. And I was like, I'm just not meant to have these glasses. But then I randomly found, you know how like Facebook or the internet or whatever it is, Big Brother, there was an ad on my Facebook that popped up and those very same glasses that I had lost were online and I was like, oh, I can have them again. Long story long, <laughs> I bought the glasses from the website, they came from Indonesia, and shortly after, lost them. And I was like, I'm really just not meant to have these glasses and I'll accept defeat. But then I went out the following Sunday, cause Sunday's like my day to go out. And this guy came up to me and was like, oh, I have your sunglasses. How random is that? So he reunited me with my steampunk sunglasses. And I was like, great, all is right in the world. Maybe I am meant to be fierce and fabulous. And then, they broke. <laughs> they broke. So anyways, I ended up like buying three pairs. Um, anyway, the point of the story, again, once again, long story long, the point of the story is, is that they're supposed to come in today, these glasses that I ordered online, and, um, you know, they're probably gonna see me in full drag, and I'm just gonna have to deal with the embarrassment and the explanation. Because I'm living in Texas right now, so you know. In like, suburbia. Because that's where my parents live right now. Jesus, this is really just like getting out of control, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna have to really work this out, aren't we? So like, I, what I usually do is I do like contour everything in cream, but I think I'm just gonna like dial it down a bit, but I will actually dip in into this cream little color here for the blush because I feel like that really does give me a bit more life. Well, bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, can you hear the dogs barking? Um, I wonder if that is the mailman. Oh, well, blended that blush into my highlight. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger, like a professional. I don't know if I've said this before, probably not, because I don't think I say anything really all that helpful. But basically, one of you, the point of highlighting is 
that you want to counteract any shadows on your face. So like I have these like smile lines here. By bringing in the light color, it like helps mask it a bit more and brings it forward. I could probably stand to use a bit more, but I'm running low. I mean, look at this. I've like hit pan on on this one. See that? See that? That's all pan. That's not product. <laughs> I need to get a new one! Alright, so... I'm gonna use this paintbrush because, you know, I did get a bunch of new Morphe brushes, but, you know, why not stick with a paintbrush? Start up here. Go up and flick. It's so funny, like, so many people, whenever they find out that, like, I do drag, like, girls especially, or whomever, they're like, like, oh, do my makeup, you know? And it's like, yeah, like, I can put makeup on myself, but like, I'm not a makeup artist. I can hardly even do my own face. All right, well, let's set this thing then. Oh, look at that. Look at, it makes all the difference. Cut that. Gorgeous. <coughs> While we're waiting for that to set, let's dig in to my new brushes. So I'm gonna use this Morphe brush, and does that do anything? I don't know what number this is. How do people know what number the brushes are? They're like, this is the Morphe 510. This is the Morphe 347. I don't know how they know that. It doesn't have it on the thing. Mess, how am I supposed to help you help me get discount codes for Morphe? Okay, so whatever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna prime the eye. It just means like you're giving the eyeshadow something to stick onto. So I'm just gonna paint that on. Now, another thing that I got that's really exciting is I got this colorful palette because I usually just have been working with neutrals, but look, so many colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map out my crease. So let's see, I think I'll do it here. Just a warning, this is my first time working with color, so we'll see how it goes, right? This could totally end up being a freaking mess, but you know, that's like part of the fun, right? All right, so now we're gonna go in with this blending brush and just blend that out, I guess. Hmm, okay, that's not really doing anything. So I'm gonna dip into the actual palette and then we'll do that. Okay, that's something. So I'm using like kind of a light-ish pressure around here. Just trying to add some pigment, but then as I move up, I'm gonna like kind of lift the brush more so that it blends a bit more, go gradiates into oblivion. Now I'm gonna go in with this blue color. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Just dip that, knock it. Colors are so fun. And then to darken this even more, I'm gonna go into this shade here. So basically, start like with your lighter colors and then you work your way down to the dark. You build the colors. Okay, I'm actually happy with that. And now I'm gonna go into this, why not? Let's see, we'll go into this really dark one because I want like some really good dimension. This is like a freaking big thing, isn't it? And I'm just gonna work I'm actually just gonna work that on the outer corner. This one's a bit patchy. So we gotta keep building it. Keep building it. And maybe I'll actually have to get in with a packing brush. Who knows? Who knows at this rate? That's something. I don't know what it's gonna be, but you know, this is all about making things work. Cute. I don't like the, that it's linear. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in with this dirty little blending brush, actually. We're gonna dip in to that. This, because I like a smoky eye. Who am I kidding? Dip into this red. We're really just gonna use all the freaking colors, aren't we? Oh, I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this straight little brush here, and I'll dip into the purple color, and then make the line purple, yeah. So I've been keeping this gel liner in my pocket. I do that to warm it up because if you kind of just use it right off the bat, it's like really odd consistency that's kind of hard to work with. I think I'm gonna do my liner out and not so much up. 
Ooh, schmancy. I'll just go into this light blue here. Pack your bags and go home. All right, so now I'm gonna set this liner with this really good black from the Kat Von D shade of light palette. And just pack that in. Intensify the black because you want everything to have really good full pigment. You don't want to be able to see the human underneath. I'm gonna do the other eye. Be right back. Okay, and we are back. I'm at this point where I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're gonna move on to contouring the face. <laughs> we're gonna dip into this orange first because we're gonna actually kind of like the eyeshadow. I'm gonna just like build up the dimensions of the colors. I like to kind of just go like in circular motions and work my way up. Look at that already, that's so nice. Now I'm gonna go in to the brown color and just deepen it. Ooh, yes, there she is. I'm kind of angling it. I'm kind of like, it's like weird. I'm like kind of just like angling it up and just like brushing it like this way, but like obviously fast. Nice. All right, now we're gonna cut down on the jaw. Going back in with the brown. There go the dogs again. Still barking at nothing. I keep thinking that it's my sunglasses arriving, but it's not. And then I really like to put in a contour right here because I think it just kind of makes my lips look a bit more voluptuous. So I just, mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm, looks much more pouty. Now let's go into the forehead. Going in with that orangey color again. And we'll build it up. Now I'm gonna go into the brown and I'm just gonna focus it like kind of back. All right, now let's go into the nude with this color here. Should I do a brow? Mm, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling a brow. Now let's, let's do lips. <laughs> okay, so I've had a moment to kind of look and see what I want to do next. And I think I'm good. I don't think I want to touch it anymore. I'm cool with this look. I don't think it makes sense yet, but I think once I have the outfit on, it'll all come together. But let's put on lashes. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go put the look on and then I'll be RB. All right, everybody, so here is the finished look. I actually put on nails this time. You see that? Oh, this is, my fingers are just so petite and womanly that this ring doesn't even fit. So anyways, this is the look. Yeah. Wanted to do something different because I've been having a bit of a identity crisis with my drag. You know, whenever I came into this world, I started out doing glamour just because that was what was expected of me for this particular show that I was hired to do. With drag and life in general, it's not about being pretty, it's about being interesting. And I use that in my life as a boy as well. But I think that this is beautiful in a completely unique way that's not so commercial and obvious. But hey, you know what? I had a lot of fun putting this look together. Uh, it was really great trying out my new Morphe brushes and my palette. I think the look is fun. I mean, I really, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out all in the end. Um, so yeah. That's it. You all know the gist. Please subscribe to this channel so that you know when the next time is that I upload. You'll be immediately alerted and you can watch my videos as they come in. Also follow me on Instagram. That's my other social media venue, if you will. And you know, give this video a like because external validation is important. Alrighty guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Okay. Mwah. My nails keep coming off. Oh, the illusion is going away. Maybe I should have used actual nail glue and not just Elmer's glue. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. No. The illusion is gone. I'm a boy!